Hi everybody, this is Oscar again, and today I find myself in the Palazzo de la Cancelleria, or the Palace of the Chancellery of the Catholic Church. And I'm here because I've been invited to participate or partake of, uh, of ceremonial, ce celebratory events surrounding the, the sanctification of Mother, of Mother Teresa. And there's, there are going to be a number of events here today. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about this palazzo. Uh, first of all, it was um, it, it began to be built in 1489, and it took about 25 years to build. It is it is the first building in Rome to be built in the style of of the Renaissance, a Renaissance style, which of course uh, is attributed to uh, began with uh, the great uh, Filippo Brunelleschi in, in in Florence. And uh, let me show you a little bit of this uh, of this palazzo. And then you can get an idea of what this is like. Now, as you can see, it's very typically Renaissance. The columns are um, are symmetrical and uh, semicircular arches, uh, hemispherical domes. Uh, it is, of course, uh, uh, the Renaissance style comes from uh, the word Rinascimento in Italian, which means uh, a rebirth. It is a return. It is a return to the aesthetics of uh, of ancient Rome and ancient Greece, and you can get an idea of what this is like. Now, an interesting thing about this um, this palazzo. First of all, it was built as a residence for the uh, for the Cardinal uh, Raffaele Rieni, who at the time was was an important official with the. Uh, with the Catholic Church, and uh, uh, he, uh, Card Cardinal uh, Cardinal uh, Raffaele, uh, had an interesting thing about him that it was the youngest cardinal to have uh, to have ever been appointed. He was 16 years old when he was appointed. Now, another interesting fact is that this 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 palazzo, this building here, was uh, was was built on top and around. The Basilica, the uh, the San Damaso, the Basilica San Damaso was one of the first, very first, early Christian churches in uh, in the uh, in the Roman Empire. It was built sometime around 380 BC. But here's a fascinating fact: that 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 basilica, which is over there, and maybe later we can, I can I can show it to you. It's right next to here. Was was built on top of a shrine, which had been built to honor the Persian god Mithra. And Mithraism uh, was, was a very intense cult-like religion, which is wildly popular in the, uh, in the Roman Empire. Uh, one of the, in the ceremony of Mithraism, uh, a bull is, is, is slain, and that is, uh, that is the origin of Greek fighting in Spain, for example. Now, another interesting thing about the, about this palazzo, there's an underground lake, a small underground lake here, which was uh, which was created when when uh, these canals in, in ancient times. There were a number of canals all over this area. They sealed off one of these canals and inadvertently created this lake down here. But the lake sealed off for almost 2,000 years the tomb of one uh, Aulus Hirutius, who was a confidant collaborator of the Roman uh, Roman Emperor Julius Caesar. Uh, in fact, after Julius Caesar's assassination, uh, he was involved in all, a number of intrigues and and, and 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 battles and all kinds of things. He 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 met his uh, his end, by the way, as a hero fighting in a famous battle in um, in Modena. And uh, but but that that tomb of his remained sealed for almost two thousand years, containing very valuable and fascinating artifacts until it was accidentally accidentally discovered in 1938. And as usual, Italy, whom as you know I love passionately, layers and layers of legends and stories and fascinating things. And uh, as I give you another look of this uh, of this uh, of this palazzo. By the way, I'm here today because I've been invited, I, I don't know if I told you, but I've been invited to the several celebratory events surrounding the sanctification of Mother Teresa, which will happen tomorrow at the Vatican. 
tonight there are a number of events happening here and uh, by the way this this building here is uh, is part of the Vatican so technically it is uh, we are we are in another sovereign nation here well that's my little report to you for now and uh, hopefully later I'll have some other uh, some other uh, uh, things to show you to talk about because this place is absolutely fascinating, full of art and treasures, and uh, it, it, it's never-ending. What one could spend a lifetime studying, only this palazzo. Well, guys, I'll see you, see you a little later.